So the, then we head to the American Athletic Conference where we might see one of the biggest games of the year where the number 19 SMU Mustangs hit the road to go play the Houston Cougars. Houston Cougars are, are unranked, but they currently are still 6-1 and one on the season. This is a 7 o'clock kickoff on ESPN2. D, you can't get a closer matchup. This, there's no favorite. It's even. It's even according to the books right now. So it really is a coin flip. SMU is given a 50.1% chance to win according to ESPN.com. D, who wins this game? Man, like you talk about picking a game, man, and you see this, this spread and it says even. You're like, what? Like, <laughs> you know, it's crazy, man. Um it was tough. I'm going with SMU. Uh, I think SMU has the better quarterback. Uh, you know, I know they're playing at Houston, but SMU has a better better quarterback in in, in Tanner uh, Mordecai. Um, you know, he he's been very very good this year. Uh, you know, like you said, both teams are undefeated in the conference. It's going to be a huge game, man. Very 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 big game. Uh, but yeah, give me SMU and, and quarterback uh, Tanner uh, Mordecai to win this game. Yeah, D, that's a, that's a great pick. It's a great pick. You know, the Houston Cougars are a great ball team, no doubt. Clayton Toon is really good at extending plays with his feet. He can really move around the pocket and make something happen out of nothing. They've got a freshman running back who's a complete star in Alton McCaskill who has rushed for 463 yards and nine touchdowns this season. Really underrated back back there. Um, and then you got a guy like wide receiver Nathaniel Dell, um, he's going to have an opportunity to put Houston in this game. Um, but then you look at SMU. SMU has really struggled in the secondary. Um, but let me tell you what, their front seven is dominant, and they're going to be running after Clayton Toon all day long. Look for linebacker Gary Wiley to have a huge second half. And the reason I say that is they'll be without him because of a targeting call last week against Tulane. Uh, he's going to be hungry in the second half. And then also look for uh, running back Trey Siggers and wide receiver Danny Gray to really help out Tanner Mordecai in that SMU offense. I'm going to take SMU in a close one, D. I agree. I'm going to take SMU. Yeah. That's a wrap for today's episode. When we come back next week, we'll break down our week nine Heismans of the week, and we'll jump ahead to our week 10 game day pickums. So make sure you're you're sticking out for that. It's going to be a great rest of the season ahead. We've still got some great matchups ahead, so don't miss out. Get ready. College football is here, and it's here to stay. Make sure you're subscribed down below if you're not already to become a part of the Heisman Talk family. We love you, and we appreciate you, all your support so far. Uh, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that bell notification is turned on so you can stay up to date when we post our latest video. And make sure to share it with your friends. As always, this is Nate Dog and D signing off.